And what's up guys, Shutter Dragonic here, bringing you another episode of The Elder Scrolls Online. And I did a little bit of stuff uh, off screen, nothing major. Um, yeah, nothing major. Um, I didn't do any... What's up, dude? I didn't do anything, um, you know, too dramatic. Uh, you can see my armor is different. Um, it is just regular iron armor. However, I had crowns which were given to me uh, via sure the game. And I used them to buy different... Um, no I'll show you real quick. I used them to buy different uh, schematics, I guess, to use at the blacksmith station. So, essentially, with each class, each class has their own distinctive type of um, weapons and armor. So, for instance, um, you know, the Nords have all their specific types of iron armor and iron weapons. Uh, the Dunmer or the Dark Elves, uh, they have their own specific type of, you know, iron armor and iron weapons and stuff. So, essentially, there are a lot of different combinations for armors and stuff that you can get in the game. So I unlocked uh, the Dunmer and Argonian and Nord I obviously I already had. So I have three different ones and what I'm wearing right now is the Dunmer or the Dark Elf um, Iron Armor. Which I know it's not, uh, it's not light armor, which I probably should be getting proficiency in. But um, that stuff also um, works with... Um, I believe woodworking and clothing as well. Yeah. It does indeed. But you also need, for each piece that you make, you also need, um, you know, one obsidian for Dunmer or for Nord stuff, you need uh, Corundum and for Argonian, you need Flint. So, that stuff uh, you can buy from the, the blacksmith here, though. For, I believe they're like 15 gold a piece, which is alright. And I also figured out, um, I went into the menu because I got tired of trying to figure out how to ride my freaking horse. So, thankfully in the menu, uh, you can go to help. And, um, I believe it was under tutorials. And then, all the way down at the bottom, it says mounts. And I clicked on that, and it's like, um, summoning mounts. So, there you go. I push and hold my, uh, menu button, and I got myself a horsey. Which is pretty cool. Gets you around a little bit quicker. So, yeah, anyway. Where I left off last time, um, I finished reviving those people from being skeevers and I ended up talking to the lady who you know started that quest line and completed the quest and I got a whole whopping like 43 gold out of it and experience and that was it so what I need to be doing now is yeah. now that says to find the missing villagers which I still have yet to do I don't know where all the missing villagers are per se Because it doesn't exactly show you. We must make sure everyone's accounted for. See, I don't know if the optional step no is to tell behind. Captain Rana to evacuate early, everyone stay or calm. what We've the deal is. So, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go talk to uh, Captain Rana or huh? Reina or however you pronounce it, and we'll go from there, I guess. I'll prepare the town for evacuation. Find as many people as you can and send them back here. Okay. Um. Uh, can I ask you a few questions? I'll answer what I can. Captain Tilroni's got the villagers thinking I'm an adult netch. 
but I'm actually a bit smarter than that. Okay, that's not what I wanted. I'll prepare the town for evacuation. Find as many people as you can and send them back here. All right, I'll keep looking then. Thank you. Now, I'm curious, um... I'm curious if finding the people is literally just like doing the mini the mini quests and stuff around the area. If that's the case, I did pick up another one um, from a dude that was injured about a death claw. Yeah, there it is. Collect death claw talon. Hornix things to lure the death claw. Okay, so. Get on the horse here and now what is a shame is I don't believe there's like combat on horse <clears throat> which is a shame but A lot of wolves in the area. Ah, okay, okay. I see. There's a sword there. Oh yeah, and by the way, I am dual wielding daggers again, and both these daggers... <clears throat> oh, excuse me, I gotta get a drink of water here real quick. My throat's all acting up. Okay. <clears throat> but anyway, um, the two daggers that I'm wielding are both Iron Daggers of Frost, and both of these were gotten from mud crabs, believe it or not. I was just kind of randomly killing mud crabs and um, doing some fishing and some iron mining. And yeah, both these uh, dagger, Iron Daggers of Frost were dropped from mud crabs, of all things. And they're actually pretty good. Right, so there's a sword. So we gotta follow the follow the trail of stuff. And it's pretty neat too because I believe if you if you get a critical ooh, clean pelt. I believe if you get a critical, um or the frost activates and you kill the enemy, they freeze solid and then they shatter. And they just shatter into dust. Which is pretty cool. Nice. I'm getting lots of clean pelts. I believe the clean pelts are used for furniture and nothing more. Examine deer. Or meat. This meat looks foul, but its rank odor should attract a ravenous beast like Deathclaw. Okay. Wait, I saw. I thought I saw flesh flies. Oh, yeah, I did. Are they. Flesh. Take flesh flies? Okay. Just more fishing bait. <clears throat> Bone pile. Use. Okay. Lure death claw with. Oh shit. Well, that isn't what I was expecting. Come here, you death claw.
Alright, well. Foul hide, grease, deathclaw, talon. That foul hide is garbage. I definitely wasn't expecting a bat out of, uh, you know, when they said death claw, I was kind of expecting a, a uh, death claw from like Fallout to show up in the Elder Scrolls games. It was a battle axe. Helmet, a jerkin. No, oh, runestone. Another battle axe. Uh, do I want. Uh, no. I'll leave it. Right, so we can head back and talk to the the dude that gave us it. No, oh, that's a, that's another dude. Yeah, there's runes here, buddy. Except I can't seem to get to them. Unless you're collecting them. Alrighty then, never mind. But I've noticed that if you want to level up in this game, you have to do quests because enemies, uh, enemies do not drop that much experience. I think the most experience I've gotten from enemies so far was like 50 and that was from like the stronger mud crabs. I need to remember where that guy is. He's down here. Oh, he's right there. All right, here you go, dude. I'm going to have to head back to town soon, my friend. Lost a lot of blood. How goes the hunt? I've killed him. A hunter with the heart of Iskramor. Here's the coin I promised. I'll sing your praises next time I see the inside of a mead hole. Don't worry about me. I know the way back to town. Wound or no wound. Alrighty. Right, so I would assume that's another... Oh, nice. Level up. I would assume that's another um, villager. I'll take those alchemy bottles. Uh, food pot? Nah. Alright, so with that level up... Let's go with... Uh, another stamina point. <clears throat> now, uh, for this, what do I want to do? Agony, huh? Twin slashes. Uh, oh, I've already got twin slashes. All right. And I got a point in slaughter. Now... I could put a point into Master Assassin. Increases your weapon and spell damage by 5% while you are sneaking or invisible. Which is useful. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. There we go. Master Assassin 1. Rank 18. Okay. Ability 
Wait, ability morph available for one skill point? Okay, that's interesting. So I can morph it into a stronger ability, I guess? Right, but anyway, let's continue looking for... Let's continue looking for villagers, I guess, that are kind of out and about. Now, if I'm not mistaken, they show up on the map as, like, the black arrow or the black and white arrow. bunny. Is that more iron? No, it's not. Right, to be honest, I don't think I've actually wandered out this way as of yet. I think this is all kind of a new, new area. Indeed it is, because there's stuff up there on the map that I have not discovered yet. Uh, Rangulus? Used in crafting metal furniture. Um, a rare ingredient for provisioning. I guess I'll take it. Oh yeah, that's something else I did as well. I upgraded my backpack. There's a dude that, um... There's a dude that'll let you upgrade your backpack. I paid him like 400 gold and got 10 more slots, I think. Which is useful. Right, well, I definitely don't see any other, uh, any other villagers around here. Oh, there you go, he froze, so now he's going to turn to dust. Yeah, there you go. Okay, I know where I am now. Because uh, that's the cave over there where um, the frozen man was. I know for sure, I just don't know where at, but I know for sure that there are more people. Alright, that's the... I don't need to use that. Okay, there's one. That cursed ship is the least of our worries. Bandits are plundering the mine, looking for artifacts. Uh, why are they here? Obviously, she just said they're looking for artifacts. They're alert, looking for something. 
had to kill the one behind me before he warned the others. How can I help? How are you at subterfuge? I'll stay here and keep an eye on these bandits. Take the uniform from our friend here, then get down into the mine shacks and see what's going on. All right. Grab some gear from our friend here. His kit will help you slip into the mine unnoticed. Right. Although, <laughs> easy, easy. I don't think I'm going to have um Yeah, it's not going to let me. Let's get rid of some crap. I can destroy that because I already know. I already know the Nord style, obviously, because I'm a Nord. So, hopefully, that's enough uh, room. Only, I, hopefully, I only need one, <clears throat> one space. All right. Just, this guy's can be found in your character's inventory. Under what? Quest items. Mutation to Orson. Letter left from Forge Mother Alga inviting you to help the King of Rothko. Um, okay. Hold on a second. Where? Oh, appearance under accessories. Disguise yourself as a bandit. Use this to blend into the ranks of the frostage bandits. That doesn't look inconspicuous or anything. Okay, it's important to note that some... Okay, I didn't get to read that. I would assume some factions will attack me because that's usually how disguises work. Ahoy, friend. Well, obviously my disguise did not work on you. That's fine, I'll just slaughter you then. You're frozen. Bandit note. Uh, there's a note from the leader. Iron greatsword. Yeah. These are all just disguises. Uh, okay. I'm still disguised, right? Oh, I'm not. Why am I not disguised anymore? I don't care. I'm just gonna. <laughs> I'm just gonna. Ooh, charcoal. What's that used for? It sells for three gold. Oh well. I, I really don't care if I blend in or not. Just freaking murder you all.
Take that gold. Oh, nice. There's more of that Regulus stuff. arm caps. Not interested. Take a stab to the face. I love how those guys just continue to stand over there like, oh, yeah, our guy was, that guy was killed, but, you know, it's, it's alright, whatever. Oh, yeah, I could use my teleport strike. Uh, which one is it? I forget. Teleport strike is... Hold on, skills. Uh, build strike. Te teleport strike is B. Right. It's teleport strike. Ready? That was pretty sweet, actually. <laughs> Stabs. Oh shit. Nice. Alright, so we only need one more document yet. Something tells me it's in one of these tents. I don't know why I'm bothering to sneak around because these people know I'm here. Right, it's not in there. That's clothing. Looking for another document. That's clothing. I've been detected by somebody. Oh, okay. Hello.
Wow, I almost died. Almost died. Okay, there's another there's another guy here killing people. That's fine. Oh, it's a Oh, it's a rune ward with the oblivion symbol on it. Tiny cracks over the surface of this rune ward. It may have once thumped, uh, thump, thrummed with magical energy, but is now dark. Upon further inspection, you see a small note attached to its base. Ah, uh, yes, let's read the note. Raw gutter. Keep this rune stone out of the mine. Whoa, 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 whoa. Excuse me. Homespun Gloves of Stamina. I'd like to continue reading that, please. Um, yeah, if you bring it near the unspeakable, unspeakable sigil, the portal closes. Then we're cut off from the relics. That means we don't get paid. If you don't understand, I'll start breaking fingers until you do. All right, let's take the runestone. Get inside the mine. Right, I'm gonna end up needing freaking clothes for this, aren't I? Maybe not. Maybe I'll just be able to fight my way in. Bring it on. Or not. Oh, come on. Don't tell me you can't get over that. I'm gonna say. <laughs> I love their logic. He's like, hey, you can't go. Ah, oh, never mind. He puts the sword away. Get lost. Uh, it's cold out here. Let me in. What? Who in oblivion are you? Get out of here before I gut you like a trout. I'll be back. Right, so I guess I need a disguise then. It's a shame, really, but... That means I'm gonna have to drop something because I don't have that in my inventory no more. Materials, um... To be honest, I can drop a lot of this shit. I really don't care. Destroy it. Destroy it. Destroy it. I don't care. Just make some room in my inventory. Oh shit, there's a guy there. Hi, guy. Wow. Get up. took off. I think he thought they were coming after him. Alright, so let's go into my inventory now, and inventory and appearance. Let's disguise myself again. And hopefully I can get into the mine now. Get lost. The boss wants me to check on the relics we already found. Quick. Come inside. We've almost made it past the scabs. I heard them say the portal is just beyond. Alright, thanks. 
Hey, you're not that guy. Who are you? Please don't hurt me. Guards! Intruder! Ah, ah. Ah. Alright, that works too. <laughs> Alrighty. Please don't hurt me. Who are you? Oh god. I just burned myself to death. Alright. Guys over there. Hodlin's Folly Ruin. I can't open it yet. Find a way to the tomb. Okay. Can I take back roads? No, I can't. I'm going to have to... Wait, am I still disguised? No. No, I'm not. Well, it can be now. All right. I tried to read that book. The covers were too far apart. Well, so far, so good. Uh, that one, not so much. Why are you chasing me? Stop, please, stop. Oh god, I got three of them after me. That's not good. Ouch. There you go, freeze to death. Why do you have two a maple inferno staff? Well shit. Not sure why she has two disguises, but okay. It's just a disguise. You'd think they'd change up the disguises a bit. You know, sort of like in Hitman. Oh hey look, that's uh, another crystal thingy that I need. Sky shard, there you go. So that would be all three of them then that I got. Gained one skill point. Nice. So I guess if you absorb three of them, you get a skill point. Let's go into skills. I want to see what the deal is with... Um, Assassin's Blade. How do I, um... Because it says I got one point. Ability morph available for one skill point. So if I... Oh, nice. Choose ability to morph Assassin's Blade into. This costs one skill point. Killer's Blade or Impale? Um... Converts into stamina mobility and deals disease damage. Also heals you if the target dies within two seconds of use. Thrust a caustic blade with lethal precision to stab an enemy, dealing 1,751 disease damage. Deals 300% more damage to targets at or below 25% health. Heals you for 17% of your max health if the target dies within two seconds. Impale, throw a magic blade with lethal, lethal precision to strike an enemy, dealing Okay. Allows you to use the allows you uh, allows you to use the ability at range. Now the range is nice, but the healing factor of Killer's Blade, I'm gonna go with that. 
up close and personal and heal me with the siphoning effect. Just kind of chilling there. All right, the ones with the torches are the ones that um, seem to come after you. Nice. Dual wield increased to eight. That is handy. Can I? I can't talk to these people. That would be funny if I could. All right. So I'm inside the tomb. I'm still disguised, although probably not for very long. Oh, shit. Okay, you just sit there and... Iron Girdle and a Daedra Husk. I didn't get a chance to try that ability out. Oh, well. Iron gauntlets and decorative wax. Lots and lots of dead people around. So we got multiple ways to go, and they all seem to be trapped. Although I guess both ways lead to the same area. Past the fire traps, use the portal to enter. Really, we gotta enter oblivion. Uh. Oh, I see. Down there, it shows uh, I can use. Uh, I see. Ouch. Okay, so again, I didn't really see that siphoning effect working, but I guess I was kind of at full health-ish. So to a merchant for gold. Three pieces. Really? Iron girdle. Tomb urn empty. Bone and a recipe for a Guarana tonic. Now, I don't have Bosmer style unlock, so it really doesn't matter if I take those bones or not. Let's go to. Uh, there we go, recipe. You learned how to make Guarana tonic. Alright. Is there anything out here? Examine. Uh, and read your cutthroat. All right. Well, 
Okay, you didn't do anything. Examine. That must be a part of another quest then, because it didn't pop up with anything. There's another scamp. Alright, well, let's use the portal then and go to Oblivion. Oh, Jesus. Destroy the unspeakable sigil. Let's do some uh, teleport blading on this guy. Yeah. Oh, nice. Stun. He's doing a freaking Kamehameha wave on me. Okay, there we go. I saw the, the health uh, effect there. Oh, there's another dude here. Alright, sip of health, Daedra Husk, Rawhide Arm Caps. What's up, dude? Well, hopefully I didn't miss anything in there. That wasn't too hard. I thought it was going to be, you know, a lot harder than that. Leave the mine. Wait, did it really bring me back to the beginning? Okay. Works for me. Oh, excuse me while I have some water. <clears throat> nice of you to help. So, what did you find out? Um, the bandits were contracted by the Daggerfall Covenant to seal a Daedric artifact. A Covenant contract? I smell a distraction. That ship we spotted might be the start of an invasion. We've got to get back to the village. All right. Sane's boot knife. And 122 gold. All right. And that boot knife. Increases physical and spell penetration by 2400. It is interesting, but I do like my, my frost daggers. So, who else do I have left to find them? Ah, uh, there's one over here, apparently. Hopefully this is the last one. My husband gave I'm sorry, what was that? <laughs> easy, horse, easy. My husband, Galund, went fishing yesterday morning. He never came home. I went looking for him this morning with my dog, and now my dog has wandered off. 
<laughs> you're, you're not having very good luck today. No, I'm not. The last place I saw Rex's was near our mill, just north of here. Take this whistle. Use it when you get over there. I'll wait here in case he comes home. All right, I'll find your dog and your husband if I can. Lost on Bleak Rock. All right. Use the dog whistle. Travel to the Gold Coast. Oh, do I actually have to use a... All right. One good turn deserves another. What do you need? Uh, I need to arrange transport. Are you then? Tag along in my skiff if you'd like. Though I suppose it depends where you want to go. Uh, where can you take me? I'm heading back to Davin's watch. If you're keen on going. Um... Is that part of the quest? Okay, this just says use dog whistle. Oh. All right. Oh, there's the dog. What's up, dude? Hey. It looks like he wants you to follow. All right. Go on, dude. sank off the coast in a storm. It was unnatural. I saw colors I've never seen before. I drifted for hours on a plank. I thought I was dead. Uh, you're gonna be fine. Just give me a second, and I'll head back home. I'll lean on Rexus when I get tired. Palmyra will be worried sick. Thank you. Alrighty. So there's still missing villagers, apparently. Ooh, there's lots of iron ore around here. Any more? Oh, yep, I see more. Nice.
Wow. Four. Five. Well, that's definitely a good place for iron ore. I'll have to remember to come down here from now on. Right, so that's obviously still not all of the uh, villagers. So what else, where else is there to possibly go? To find villagers that need to go back to the village. Together, I can never thank you enough. All right, well, there's obviously still more, still more people to find. There's a mine here. Is that a mine? Oh, it's Hassan's Folly. I was already in there. There's obviously still more missing villagers because I still have that optional part going on here, which I want to do. I want to find all of them if I can. Although apparently I can't... Um Possibly be somebody who needs help to get back home. Ah, okay. I see. Oh, God. There are frostbite spiders everywhere. Praise Sithis. A traveler. Please. The poison's chill is getting to me. I don't know if I'm going to make it. I came out here with three of my fighter's guild comrades. We heard rumors of dangerous creatures in the cave. Then we found spiders. Argonians are resistant to poison. That's the only reason I got away. All right, what do you need me to do? Save my crew. If I know spiders, my comrades are already in cocoons. Find Tethys, Nair, and Hunts in Shadow. Set them free. All right, I'll do what I can. You should be able to get them out before they're a meal for spiders. We shouldn't have come here. I should have listened to the Guildmaster. What do you mean? We're used to taking contracts as they come. We pick our own jobs. The Guildmaster, though. She wanted us to go hunt Daedra. If only we had followed orders. Alrighty. 
so frostbite spiders, these are kind of, um, these are probably more of the tougher enemies that I've come across yet. I haven't actually fought any of them, so something tells me they're going to be quite resistant to my uh, frost daggers, though. Although saying that, they don't, uh, spider egg. I'll leave it. They don't seem to be too resistant. Although they also don't, um... Also seem to um, have a very, very small engagement area. up here. Nothing. Oh yeah, something else I forgot to mention. I played around with lockpicking a bit, and I kind of got the hang of it. It's very strange compared to the other games, but um, I did figure it out. Iron ore, I'll take that. Something I haven't found yet are gems. I haven't. I've yet to find any gems. So I guess all that's left now is um, Hunts and Shadows. I think that was his name. <laughs> These freaking frostbite spiders are everywhere though. My god. You're quite welcome. Am 
my comrades have returned. I erected the spine of gratitude. You are a hero today. Glad I could help. May your scales stay moist. By the way, we're not heading back to the village. We have our own boat, and we're getting off this cursed rock. If you're ever in Davin's watch, you should consider joining the guild. I'd put in a good word for you. Gavin's watch, or Davin's watch, huh? Right, so we still have villagers that are left. Nice, still wield the ten. Wonder if there's anything worthwhile in here. Probably not. The spider's just gonna follow me up here. Ooh, hey, a chest. Okay, and it's locked. So I can actually show you guys what the deal is here with lock picking. All right, so obviously you have a time limit and you have to try and get this pick within that time limit if you're gonna pick it without force picking it. So the object here is not to try and push them down the way, but you're gonna push them down and be pressing A while you're pushing them down to try and lock them into place. So here, I'll show you real quick. I hope that doesn't break a lock pick by undoing that. All right. So here I'm gonna depress and push A. There we go, we got one, two, three, four. Ah, I don't think I got it. <clears throat> You must wait a few seconds to attempt to pick another lock. All right. Oh, shit. Now I can't get it. There we go. Ah. It is a bit, a, bit, a bit of a pain in the ass. There we go. Maple Ice Staff of... Wait, the Maple... Ice Staff of Flame? Okay. So yeah, but that's luck picking in a nutshell, and it's pretty annoying. But it's not too difficult to get that out of it. That was kind of glitchy. So as far as other villagers, I'm not sure if there's actually anybody else left or not. Although I said that before, and, well, we ended up finding more, so... Oh, there's another treasure chest. And an angry, angry, angry bear. He is quite angry. Stabby, stabby! Oh, God. This is gonna be locked, though. It is. Simple lock. Fun, fun, fun. Ah, 
Ah, we got it that time. First try. Homespun Breaches of Magicka. At 704 maximum Magicka. Reduces block cost by 2.5. Uh, oh, I can't take anything anyway. An ingredient for crafting in the ancient elf style. Why am I still wearing the disguise, by the way? I don't need the, uh... I don't... There we go. Now I look more proper. Now, do I have room? No, I still don't have room for anything. Oh, well. But I'll tell you what, guys. This, this episode has run over an hour. And I'm trying to keep these not so uh, long. But they end up running pretty long anyway. So I'm going to end this episode here, and I'm going to continue to wander until I find somebody else who needs, uh, you know, rescuing or sent back to the village. And then I'll pick up the next episode there. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed this episode or previous episodes, please give it a like. If you guys enjoy my Let's Plays, please don't hesitate to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next episode of Let's Play Elder Scrolls Online. But until then, guys, later.